Hi everyone, welcome back to Animal Crossing with me, Austin John Plays. This is episode... Are we on 30? Is this actually number 30 already? Yeah, it is episode number 30. We have made it 30 full episodes of this tips and tricks slash hybrid let's play child experiment thing that we're doing. Great! Good morning, Butterpup! Right now on plays, it's 11.28 a.m. I know, I got a late start. The end of April is upon us. They say spring is sprung, but before you know it, spring will spring right out the door. But we won't let that stop us from enjoying May to the fullest, will we? Well then, Isabel signing off. Just a friendly reminder, tomorrow you get your May Day trip ticket, which allows us to visit a very special Nook Mile Island. Sorry, microphone. I think it's great that as soon as I wake up, first thing I do is check on my flowers. Something that was always like such a background, not really paying attention in my head sort of thing, and now it's like what I wake up for. All right, the island oranges still haven't done anything amazing. Are these, are these black tulips? These don't look purple. Yeah, those are black tulips. All right, fantastic. So these purple mums can breed us one of the greens at a 25% rate. Meanwhile, the yellows can only breed us a green at a 0.6 rate, so these are great. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Our hybrid reds already got us purple pansies. Great. We're done with pansies, right? That was the very last color of pansy we needed. Yeah, that was the very last color of pansy. Fantastic. And we have two blue roses out here. That was the last color of rose that we needed as well. I wanted to make a whole episode about the differences between breeding and cloning flowers, but I'm just gonna sum it up right here. Once you breed and you have a specific color of flower, take it out of your breeding area, tear down that five by five. Like, if you already have your pinks, there's no reason to have white and reds next to each other at all. So get them away from each other and only work toward the colors you don't have. And I call this cataloging. I'm cataloging all my different colors right here. That way I know what I do need to breed for and what I don't need to breed for. And then once it's already bred and you take it all out of your cloning, out of your breeding area, you put down a little cloning area. And the important part is you just have flowers next to each other that cannot breed and every day they can reproduce. Like I got two white, I got a white lily and a white tulip from this. Fantastic. Also keep in mind having your friends over to water dramatically helps your rates, blah, blah, blah. Oh. It was found that having other profiles on your same Nintendo Switch does not increase your flower reproduction rate or flower cloning rate. So that is not a thing. All right, fam, I'm gonna take some time and clean all this up now. Also, when you're cataloging, solid move. Replace your reds with your hybrid reds if your flower does have a hybrid version of itself. That way, you know, you can get some better stuff from that, not just more reds. Looks like we have kick today. Kick, do you have anything awesome? Some awesome kicks for me? Not really. I mean, I don't think this crossbody is going to be cooler than my rhinestone white b backpack. What about the nooklings? Ooh, is that a gaming chair? What? Ooh, this jukebox is like a nice, like, red color. Oh, this is an autumn train set. Excuse me. I have the cherry blossom spring train set. Nice. Well, look at you guys finally having good stuff. I have to say, I really love this. Also, I put a lighthouse back there. And I love it even more. <laughs> I, I said in my video that I'm trading and collecting lighthouses with friends, and then the next day I get sent four colors that I needed. So, thank you to all the people on my friends list who are like, here, take a 5,000 Nook Miles item. So now I have dark gray, black and white, light blue striped, red striped, all white, bright yellow, which I actually like a lot more than I thought I would. I don't know what other colors are left. I think I should look on like the wiki or Nookazon or something. Also, I do have more amiibo cards and I'm thinking about just daily scanning them in here, even if I'm not planning on like circulating my villagers. Getting the DIYs from them is pretty neat. It's like one extra one a day. Like I don't need to quote unquote complete the challenge if they're just giving me the DIY, right? You know, I really like this area. And I now learned that it can't grow in that space, I think because it's too close to the bridge. So I've been discussing with some, uh, some people who know a lot about flower breeding. Like every good guide you've ever seen, I've been talking to those people on flower breeding. And we're also looking into a few fun things like 
weed breeding. Not really breeding, but cloning and cloning rates of weeds and how weeds affect your overall island's image. And it turns out not that much. So like you can plant down some weeds, you can have a tasteful amount of weeds as long as you're counteracting it with other things. Also the trick is to not have too many weeds in one location. So like this area I'm making enchanted with all sorts of, you know, beautiful flowers and stuff. But like inside of here, if I wanted to put down like one or two big weeds, like right over here, I could totally do that. In fact, I'm gonna. If I water these weeds, then tomorrow they have a chance of growing and they have a chance of spreading as long as there's a location that they can spread to. But that's how you get those those tall, nice looking weeds. So I'm just gonna go around and put down some random weeds and then water them. So yeah, the island evaluation, if you've yet to hit five stars, there's now an exact measurement on how to do it. It's based on a point system, which is really neat and super easy to calculate. I updated the fandom wiki, so if you're having trouble hitting a five star rating, you can just go on there and look at all the things that you need to do in order to get uh, five stars, which essentially all you need to do is just put down really expensive things, but not the same things next to each other. That's the trick. Because there is something in the game's code that's going to see if you're just spa spamming items in places. But if you're putting things down tastefully and sporadically, then you get credit for them. And when it comes to watering, fun fact about that, any tile that's already considered hydrated, if you use your can on it, it is not using durability. Meaning that if you water an entire crop, oh wow, rip locust. If you water all of your black flowers and the area around your black flowers, then you could just walk up to each one of your black roses and water them, and that's at no durability cost to your golden watering can, which I think is really neat. I need to order the additional mallards that I need for here. It's called a duck. Oh, there's mallard and spot build. I did not realize that there were different ones, and they're not for sale. Okay. And uh, right here, as you can see, Kiki moved out already. So Kiki told me she wanted to leave. I have a friend who was collecting cats and I let them come over when Kiki was in boxes and boom, Kiki's gone now. So I think later on today, I'm going to go hunt down a good villager. Can I move a plot if it doesn't belong to anybody? No. Wow, look at that. A house has to be occupied for you to move it. You cannot move an empty plot. All right, so in yesterday's video, I asked you guys, some suggestions for this area up here and this area down here and this area over here and an overwhelming amount of you said a playground and a cafe and to be honest those those are the those are the easy ones <laughs> and what i'm gonna end up doing for the time being just because until i have something better to go here that's that's what we're doing so for the playground, I realized that in my inventory, I don't have uh, the jungle gem, which that's obviously gonna be like the big ticket item for, you know, the playground. So this area won't be fully complete today. Instead, we're going to have to kind of drag it over two days. Drago's wearing my Mew shirt. He's an MVP or she, he, he is. And I have the most boring green one. <laughs> Yay, they're gonna mail a jungle gym and put it in my mailbox tomorrow. Let's just think about that for a second. You know, a three by three space is a lot of room in this very small area, but that's fine. That's fine. All right, so we're definitely gonna need a spring and ride on, which I already ordered yesterday. Obviously an elephant slide. Oh, I forgot customizing kits. Now, to be honest with you, I had grand ideas for this area that was gonna include like, a popcorn machine, candy machine, tricycles, plastic pools, chess boards, unfinished puzzles, more tricycles. But having that big old jungle gym that's going to be there, that's going to really affect how much room I have. But you know what? That's okay because that's going to be the big ticket piece. You always need a big ticket piece to be like, whoa, this is, this is where children play with things. 
Did I move that elephant thing too close? Nope. Perfect. Okay, so until I have my big old jungle gym, uh, with my ugly green jungle gym, that's, that's the playground. Wow, I thought this was gonna be grand and extravagant. Okay, let's make a cafe. For our adorable little cafe area, I'm actually gonna be taking a fair amount of inspiration from someone named Animal Crosser Olivia, who I saw a post on Instagram and it looked really neat. And I'm gonna be using this sectional couch, which I ordered an additional side for the turquoise and a side for the pink. And I'm going to be using, and we're gonna be doing a lot of customizing to this, like a whole bunch. First of all, I'm using ironwood chairs as the tables since they're very low and I think it's gonna look really neat with this oak design here. Next, I'm gonna be repurposing the natural garden chairs that I had from uh, the, the sort of, you know, Asian cafe that I set up before, except I'm gonna be trying out the, the whole like rundown shanty look, shabby look, whatever they wanna call them, and the tables to match. Next, the stalls that I have. Actually, I'm not mad at the natural. The natural looks good here. And I'm not crazy about any of these patterns. So let's look at the ones that Sable gave me. And then for the last step is I'm going to be making a custom design that is going to act like a menu. And I want to have this area as selling uh, coffee and also desserts. So that's the idea here. So this is just the beginning part of me figuring out how I want this to look. And I'm going to be putting this on the simple panels. I actually Got my hands on a simple panel that has like a wood border to it and oh, it looks perfect. This is gonna be a beautiful menu. I would say that looks like a coffee cup and that looks like a slice of cake or pie or whatever. You know what, if it's hot pie, I guess I should also have a little boop, boop, boop marks, a little hot marks coming off as well. Yeah, that is clearly coffee and cake. Perfect. So after a lot of trial and error, I finally came up with something that I like. I did this dark gray background that kind of blends down to the brown kind of nicely. A large gold icon for the bell. I increased the price of the coffee to 70 bells and the cake to 110 bells. We have some big old gibberish up here. We have some blank lines of text that's too small to read because we're too far zoomed away. And yeah, I think this overall looks really good. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That looks bomb.com right there. You know, after I'm seeing these stalls next to each other, I feel like this one clashes a lot. Oh, and the donuts line up at the top. Okay, yeah, that is looking right. That is looking real right right there. Yeah, these, these shabby tables need to go. They are really, really, really bad. So I'm really, really limited by the items that I have to make this cafe the way I want to make it. I'm still waiting for this piece of sofa to come in and this piece of sofa to come in and now that I'm seeing them both I think the pink is a nice pop of color especially next to the green and the blue just isn't enough for me to be honest as far as the chairs I hate all of them I really do I love these little tables well technically they're chairs and I'm using them as tables but these fit really nice with like the low coffee table theme the stalls the donuts uh Perfect. I have my espresso maker. I have a mixer over here. I'm gonna need like an actual cake or something. And I have to say, I really, really, really love what I did with the menu. Once I have these pink couches in place, you know what I think would be really dope? Put some pink flowers right here. And also in order to make this to work up here, I had to get rid of the street light. So it looks like we're nixing the street light project. Oh, and now the things out here get to breathe so much more. Let's move the clicky cart over. Let's move the rocky horse up. Yeah, that looks so much nicer. Everything is is spaced out better. We have a little bit of room right here so we can put the street light down. Oh, I was doing small ones. Okay. Actually, you know what? No, it's a sign. It's a sign. The big ones go here. Now we walk in. Okay. Yeah, I'm a fan. We take the street light and we move it right up. Here and to be symmetrical, this can go right here. And even though it's on a different surface, it's symmetrical, and that's what matters. Oh, that messes with me a little bit. I'll know better once the Able Sisters have moved in. And I also ordered some more utility poles, so we just need to find a, a, a proper place to put those. I think in a situation that 
I get like, I don't know, a fake statue of David. I'll put it in the middle of that Zen garden and expand it. That would be nice. So nice, this little cafe right here. And this playground. It doesn't look half bad. Then I think to end my time off for today, we should get ourselves our new villager. Who's it gonna be? I don't know. But today's our day, our one day for us to go and get a villager. I'm so mentally prepared to sit through lots and lots of Orville speeches. Time to take off. All right, first island, it's the Five Rock Island. Right at the top, Five Rocks. And a villager. Who's it gonna be? What are you? I have so much that I have to do today that I think the only thing I'm gonna really do while I'm here is if there's a fossil on the ground, I'll pick it up. If, you know, we come to a specialty island for something, then that's the case. I'm gonna shake the trees for furniture drops because I still need that Nook Miles achievement and ever since I planted all those trees on my island, it's been impossible for me to find stuff. What are you? A cute wall-mounted clock. Oh boy. By the way, something that did not occur to me until someone pointed it out, the Dodo's name are Orville and Wilbur, which are named after the Wright brothers, the pioneers of aviation, Orville and Wilbur Wright, the people who basically invented the airplane. Okay, we have a basic river island and... Nope. Island number three. I see a lot of cedar trees. It's a basic river island. <laughs> it's Kiki! <laughs> Kiki just left! Wow, I thought I'd be the only one on this tour. I'm Kiki, you're Austin John. Did you really come here all the way from plays? Okay, so no, she doesn't remember me because this- because I gave my Kiki away to another villager. So I'm guessing this is just another instance of Kiki? Island number four. And it's a monkey. Shari. Your face is so big. I've also decided that any DIYs that I get, messages in a bottle, I'm not gonna open them until I'm back on my island. Ooh, a changing room. All right, Alpha Omega Bell Bottom Dubstep. What's it gonna be? Oh, it's a creepy bunny. Island number six. Whoa, it's a zebra. What's your name? Savannah. As opposed to Sahara. Oh, I get it. Oh, I love the inside of your ears are blue and the, the little spiral on your head. That's pretty neat. Why couldn't I find you when I found Rodney? Lucky number seven. I think this is gonna be another three tier rock island. Yep, sure is. And... You are a sailing rhino named Renee. I have like I don't know, seven or ten villagers I'd really like for my island, and I know who they are in my head, and when I see one of them, then I will be happy. But my number one would probably be Lucky. He's the dog who has mummy bandages on him. A simple kettle. So I grabbed another full stack of tickets, ten, because my first stack or semi-stack was only seven, so we have 10 more trips here. Ooh, it's Big Fish Island. Neat. Wait, nope, Rare Fish Island. This is the one that when you have um, Mouth of the River spawns, it's gonna be super easy to farm them. Who is our person right now? What is that? That is a creepy cat. What are you? Its name is Cat. You look like an evil, evil Garfield. What is it? Oh, simple river and big blue cow. Nope. All right. Nope. And Renee, I already found you. It's our first bamboo island, which makes it impossible to find the fossil. And nope. Look at that little mouse. You ever shiny hunt Pokemon? This is a lot what it's like. Oh, it's a koala. Nope. I don't even know what- you are a sad looking rooster, that's what you are. Back to Bamboo Island, statistically the most common, there's an anteater, no thank you. To be honest, I mean, I think any of the octopuses act octopi. Any of the octopus would be cool. But, uh, I really do feel like they're missing out on a huge, huge chance to do, like, collaborations between the different Nintendo IPs. 
and they should take one of the octopuses and they should make it robotic, kind of like uh, Ribot, and then make it into a guardian from Breath of the Wild. I think that'd be super neat. Simple lake island and a different sad rooster. Back to Bamboo Island. Hopefully not another anteater. Uh, Peaches? What's wrong with your eyes? Peaches is a little neat, because their eyes are like stitches, but nowhere near as cool as stitches. That was a full stack of tickets gone. All right, on to our next stack, so that means that this is going to be trip number 18. Use Nook Miles ticket. And... What are you? <laughs> Rodeo. You look like a satanic bull. Are you used in satanic rituals with those bright, beady purple eyes? And you even have like a, like a full cult outfit. What is going on here? I have to look you up. The wiki makes like no mention of the fact that Rodeo looks like he's part of a satanic cult. <sighs> please don't suck, please don't suck, please don't suck. Oh, you suck. Hey look, we found uh, Sturgeon Island again. And a pink squirrel up there, so I'm not even gonna try. Oh great, DJ's turntable. All right, and ooh, Money Rock Island. And whatever cow is back there. What is with these villagers with these red eyes? Okay, next island. Oh, it's a big white bear. Okay, big money, no whammy, big money, no whammy. And... I'm on the same island I was just on, and now there's a, a, a grumpy papa bear. His wings don't even reach that keyboard. Ooh, it's Sister Fruit Island. Neato. Maybe it will have a, my new sister villager. And... What are you? Deidre. Deirdre. And you're, you're a little fawn. Sorry, but we already have Bo, so you're out. I just noticed that right now at 4, 4.40 at sunset, this light is coming in, and eventually it's gonna blind him. Like, coming through the window. And I'm sure we've all had one job or a class or something that that light comes in at just the right time of day, and you can't see anything, so you have to cover the shades or something else. Look, can't even reach the keyboard. His beak could reach it. You type it with that, that schnoz, that honker there, Orville. How many tickets do I have left of the stack? Two. Oh, what, what are you? Oh, nope. Thank you for coming out behind that tree. I can see that you are a fugly koala. I've now officially been at this for an hour. And the part that really sucks is that it's an hour of mostly dialogue and loading screens. Like, that's honestly more than half my time. Bamboo! <sighs> wow, that was a big ol' yawn. Oh, and I can see that you do the same sad bear that I just found. So, perfect. Already leaving. Bye. Alright, this is the last ticket of this stack. The very last one. <laughs> does it does he remember me? Does he re tell me he remembers me? I'm visiting from another island. My name's Rodney, and you're Austin John from Plays, huh? I like your name a lot. Nope, he doesn't remember me. Good, let's keep it that way. So I think after these 10 tickets, if I don't get anyone that I want, then we're just gonna leave it up to RNG. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna restrict myself to the last person. You know, sometimes life hands you sour lemons. And you gotta make lemonade. Oh my god, what the <laughs> I didn't see him! <laughs> I didn't see him at all! And then, as soon as I come around from the tree... There he is! 
Uh, nope, 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 nope. He's haunting me. He's haunting me. I'm not gonna say big money no whammy, because when I say it, I get whammied. What are you? Are you a pink tiger? You're a sad pink tiger, Claudia. Oh, that's an ex's name. That's weird for me to say. All right, bye, Claudia. Yeah, that's weird. Nope, bye. Ugh. How many do we have left? Eight. Okay, come on. Come on, Orville. You know what? You know what? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Wait, wait, stop, stop. We're gonna... There we go. Now you're gonna give me a be better villager, right? Right? According to, to people on TikTok, that's how that works. Which, if you didn't see my video about myth busting, that's, that's not true at all. <laughs> Please, just not Rodney again. <laughs> Sister Fruit Island. It's all fruit-bearing trees, so there's nothing to shake. And... Oh, it's a flamingo named Flora. One of my friends has, uh, has the flamingo villager. And I'm like, how dare you not put Mr. Amingo, Mr. and Mrs. Flamingo outside. Like that's, if you don't do that, you should be banned from Animal Crossing. Bless me with your dodo luck. Ooh, it's Rock Island. And, oh, hi there, Mr. Hippie Tiger. His name is Bud. I bet you're, I bet you're a lazy personality. But no, not for me. I'm gonna have any lion. I think it would want to be that. I think it would be that that cool Beethoven looking one. I don't even know its name. You know what I'm talking about with the crazy white mane. Oh, look at these rock formations. It's gonna be a crazy island. It's not. Are you another hamster? What? You're a hamster, but you're like, like one of the Day of the Dead hamsters. And your name is Clay, because I guess they make the... I'm not going to even try to say it properly in Spanish. The sugar skulls. You know what I'm talking about. That's what you are. You're a sugar skull. Honestly, I think Clay's the coolest villager that I've seen so far today. Although, no way I'm having another hamster on my island. No way. Oh, it's another Five Rock Island. Nope. You know what's crazy to think about? Say, for example, there is a 1% chance to get gold nuggets out of hitting rocks, right? That means that you have to hit a rock, and out of 100 drops, one time, you'll get a golden nugget. For me to go to 37 islands, each with... 37 islands, each with 4 rocks each, each with 8 drops, that means, statistically, I would have gotten... 11 golden nuggets. I just flat out, sorry. I just flat out don't have time like that. What are you, what are you? Where are you? Hi, what are you? Mitzi. Little, little white cat. All right, little regular basic cat, no thank you. Not my cup of tea. We are down to our last three Nook Miles tickets. Oh look, it's Five Rock Island again. Oh, you're an antelope. Zell, you're a gazelle. <laughs> I love that shirt though. But we have two tickets left. Wilbur, what's it gonna be? Please don't be something horrible. Oh, good morning, Zoe. Oh, it's the same boring rooster. Great. <sighs> it's the last ticket. The very last one. Horrible. I would like you to send me to some place that has someone magical there. Someone amazing, someone beautiful, or at the very least, I don't know, clickbaity, or whatever. Screw it. <laughs> just, just give me something. Oh. What's gonna be? What's gonna be? I don't want to run. Let's just walk over. Oh, what are you? What are you? What, why do you have bright green ears? What? How are you? <laughs> oh, har. Oh, hair. So this is an Irish rabbit. Well, that was a waste of 37 Nook Miles tickets. 
We did get a bunch of furniture. We got 37 pieces of furniture. Well, about that, because, you know, we came to some non-fruit bearing tree islands. We got a bunch of messages in a bottle. So let's head back to my house and go take a look at what we got there. So after 37 tickets, this is everything that I got from all of those islands. Also, I did not get stung once. I know you're very proud of me. First, let's go ahead and remove all of the wasps. And I would like to organize this between things that I did not have yet. Things that are dupes, like this DJ table, I have, and there's really no variation of. Rarid in bed. So I got two of the stuffed bears, which is neat. This adorable little table lamp. A shaved ice maker, which is so dope. This anatomically correct figure, which is just scary and I want it out of here. This podium, which is dope. Now I can use this for like a diner or something. This picnic set, which is amazing. This is the coolest thing. This is a throwback spaceship. That's awesome. This thing called a spinning wheel that uh, I thought that's what a loom was. And like when you think of R Rapunzel and the story of that, when they were weaving her hair into whatever or wh however that story went, that's the thing they used. This changing room, which is dope in case I want to make like a pool area or a beachside changing area. I already had a beach chair, but I need a second one. I don't have this in red. And this is a dope lamp. Very Ikea-esque. I also got a bunch of messages in a bottle. And of all that, six of these are new. I like that I can make a terrarium now because terrariums are really beautiful. The ironwood clock is the most meh thing I've ever seen. I can make a cabin wall. A timber door plate. The extra long log sofa is, I guess, neat. Cool for outside, maybe in like a like an outside patio area. I might be able to use that. I have a cardboard table, which is just four boxes next to each other. But yeah, that's it. That's it. That's that's what we got. We got 37 Nook Miles tickets. And this is what I have to show for it. Well, I want to thank you for so much for checking out this episode of Animal Crossing New Horizons. Tomorrow's May Day, and we're going to get our, our May ticket. And apparently I'm just getting whatever villager I get. Till next time, Austin John out.